When it comes to distribution, we're now just looking at the start. But when you really think about scaling this up, airports like Painfield and others could prove critical, considering that Washington alone has more than 7 million residents. In the distribution of vaccines, speed will matter. The Washington National Guard says it's on standby for any request from the State Department of Health and the Department of Defense to use its logistical capabilities from aircraft to trucks to get the vaccines where they need to. Need to fly vaccines to the San Juan Islands? They can do that. Vaccine distribution is complicated because of the need for refrigeration, especially the Pfizer vaccine frozen to the level dry ice provides. Specialized cargo containers to minus 94. Airlines, including American and United, already involved with specialized container shipments to maintain that temperature. If the temperature drops by even a quarter of a degree, the alarm goes off and our team is able to investigate what's going on and make sure that the shipment's ready for the rest of its journey. At SeaTac Airport, Seattle-based Alaska Airlines cargo operations are prepared for carrying out its part of the logistics job. Alaska could pick up larger shipments from here or in Anchorage and distribute them to some 21 airports within the state of Alaska. Example, the airline station in Bethel alone would distribute the vaccine to some 70 villages. In a statement, we're in close contact with government officials and logistics providers as plans become finalized. With an extensive route network across North America, we're in a position to support this crucial portion of the medical supply chain. Now the big cargo carriers, UPS and FedEx, are also involved in Operation Warp Speed to get these vaccines out. And we're hoping to hear more from the State Department of Health soon. At Payne Field and Everett, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.